Linguistics, Chapter 13, First Language Acquisition Mother language or language which we gain as a child from our parents and use with our family members can be defined as the first language, also called L1. Language acquisition requires 1. Interaction with other language users, especially in the first two to three years. 2. Cultural transmission, meaning the language is acquired through the environment, not genetics. 3. Physical ability to produce and hear sound signals. 4. Hearing language sounds, but this alone is not enough. 5. Interaction with others via language. Input. Inputs are language samples which adults, like parents and grandparents, provide infants, help acquire language, also known as caregiver speech or child-directed speech. This style of speech is characterized by simplified words, for example, tummy, nana, alternative forms with repeated sounds and syllables, for example, choo-choo, poo-poo, frequent use of questions with exaggerated intonation, loudness, and slower tempo, longer pauses to help the child process language. Caregiver speech. Caregivers, like mothers, engage in conversations with young children even before they can speak by reacting to the child's actions and vocalizations as if they were part of a conversation, using simple sentence structures and repetition, paraphrasing and referencing the present moment, providing a structured and interactive environment that helps the child learn language. This type of caregiver speech helps the child develop their language skills by providing a model for basic structural organization and encouraging interaction. The Acquisition Schedule Children develop language skills at a similar pace and schedule, similar to physical skills like sitting, crawling, and walking. This suggests that language acquisition is biologically determined and linked to brain maturation. Even before talking, infants actively process language input, distinguishing between speech sounds and responding to speaking faces. By one month, infants can differentiate between sounds like ba and pa, and by three months, they produce smiles and vocalizations in response to speech. Cooing Babies start making speech-like sounds, known as cooing their first few months. By four months, they can produce vowel-like sounds i and u and consonant sounds like ka and ga, often described as cooing or gooing. By five months, babies can distinguish between different vowels a i and a and syllables ba and ga, showing their speech perception skills are developing. Babbling. Babbling is the production of various vowels, consonants, and combinations like ba 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 and ga 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 by the babies between six to eight months. By nine to ten months, they develop intonation patterns, vary combinations, and use nasal sounds. Syllable sequences like ma 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 and da 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 emerge, and parents often interpret them as mama and da da. As they learn to stand 10-11 months, they use vocalizations to express emotions and emphasis, with more complex combinations and sound play. This pre-language stage provides social interaction, experience, but it's important to note that language development varies among children, and age-related milestones are approximate. Even Albert Einstein developed spoken language skills later than usual, highlighting individual differences. The one-word stage. Between 12 to 18 months, children enter the one-word stage where they use single words like milk or cat to communicate. These words, called holophrastic speech, can function as phrases or sentences and may not just name objects but also refer to people or actions. For example, a child may say Karen when seeing an empty bed showing they associate the name with the person. During this stage, children are not yet able to combine words into more complex phrases,
but are still developing their language skills. The two-word stage. The two-word stage typically begins between 18 to 20 months, as children's vocabulary expands beyond 50 words. By age 2, children combine words like baby chair or mommy eat, which adults interpret based on context. These early sentences can convey possession, requests, or statements. During this stage, children receive feedback from adults and older children, confirming that their utterances are effective in communication. By age 2, children can understand around five times more words than they can produce, with the vocabulary ranging from 200 to 300 distinct words. Telegraphic speech. Between 2 to 2.5 years old, children's speech develops from simple two-word combinations to more complex multiple-word speech, characterized by varied word forms and correct word order. For example, this shoe all wet, daddy go bye-bye. This stage is known as telegraphic speech. During this time, children also start using inflections, for example, ing and simple prepositions, for example, in, on. By three years old, their vocabulary grows to hundreds of words, and their pronunciation becomes clearer. The acquisition process. Children are not explicitly taught language, but rather construct it themselves through exposure and experimentation. Acquisition process involves learning through imitation and learning through correction. Learning through imitation. Imitation is the major source of the child's speech production. Children may repeat single words or phrases, but not the sentence structures. Examples. The children were asked to repeat what the adult said on the left. The dogs are hungry. The child repeats dog hungry. The owl who eats candy runs fast. The child repeats, I'll eat candy and he run fast. Learning through correction. Adult corrections have limited impact on a child's speech development. Children often persist in using their own constructed forms, even when adults subtly try to correct them. In the example dialogue, a four-year-old child continues to use the word holded despite the mother's attempts to correct it to help. Children seem to develop their language skills through wordplay and experimentation, both in interaction with others and alone. For example, a two-year-old child was recorded playing with words and phrases in bed, showing how wordplay is an important element in developing their linguistic repertoire. As children progress beyond the telegraphic stage, specific linguistic features emerge in their speech. Developing morphology. By 2.5 years old, Children's speech develops beyond telegraphic speech, incorporating inflectional and functional morphemes in a specific order. Number one ing form, for example, cat sitting, two prepositions in and on, three regular plural form s, for example, boys, cats, four irregular plurals, for example, men, feet, five irregular past tense forms, for example, came, went, Six possessive form is, for example, Karen's bed. Seven verb to be forms, for examples, are articles, a and nine regular past tense form ed, for example, opened. He walked. Ten present tense form s, for example, it comes. She knows. Note that stages 2 to 3 and 5 to 6 may be exchanged in some cases. This sequence is based on Brown's research. Developing syntax. Research has shown that English speaking, children develop syntax in a consistent way, with two specific structures question formation and negative usage following a similar pattern. Both structures go through three stages. Stage 1, 18, 26 months, early development. Stage 2, 22, 30 months, intermediate development. Stage 3, 24, 40 months, advanced development.
Note that the ages for each stage vary among children, reflecting individual differences in development rates. Children develop question forming skills in three stages. One, stage one, add WH words for example, where, to the beginning of sentences, or use rising intonation, for example, sit, chair. Stage two, form more complex expressions, still using rising intonation, for example, you want eat, and introduce more WH words, for example, what, why. 3. Stage 3. Master inversion for example, can I have, but may still struggle with WH questions and verb. Morphology for example, why kitty can't do it, instead of, why can't kitty do it? By this stage, questions are generally similar to adult speech, with some lingering errors. Forming negatives. Children develop negative sentence structures in three stages. Stage 1, add no or not to the beginning of sentences, using them for denial or desire for example, no doing it, not sit there. Stage 2, add no, not, don't, and can't to verbs, using don't as a single unit for example, he no, bites you, I don't want it. Stage 3, Add didn't and won't to verbs, replacing stage one forms for example, I didn't catch it, she won't let know that children may persist in using non-adult forms, even after correction for example, nobody don't like me instead of nobody likes me. This shows that children have their own rules for negative sentences and may not always follow adult corrections. Developing semantics. Children's early speech often involves using words in unusual ways, extending their meanings beyond their typical adult definitions. This process, called overextension, is based on similarities in shape, sound, size, movement, and texture. For example, a child may use bow wow to refer to various objects with shiny bits or ball to describe all round objects. As children learn more words, their usage becomes more precise, and they narrow down the application of each term. Interestingly, children tend to use middle-level terms in a hyponymous set, like dog instead of animal or terrier. This may be related to how adults communicate with children, using more specific terms like flowers instead of plants or tulips. Later Developments Children take time to grasp certain linguistic concepts, such as autonomous relations, for example, more or less, before or after, by cell, with some understanding developing only after age 5. Despite ongoing language development, by age 5, children are considered proficient in their first language. This raises the question, if first language acquisition is relatively effortless, why do many people struggle to learn a second language later in life? We will try to answer that question next chapter.